So I'm going to talk with you about Luke 12, a few verses there, and um, the fact that it says that uh, there are going to be Christians who will be punished. And that's what this indicates very clearly. It also says what we should be doing. It says here in verse 42, And the Lord said, uh, Who then is that faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season? Their meat, portion of meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So, it's talking about meat, not milk, not some sort of watered-down version of the gospel. It's saying giving them their portion of meat in due season, seeing what they really need in order to build themselves up in Christ and giving that to them in due season. But you go to these churches that are all self-help centers, they're not doing that. They're not doing it at all. In fact, they're preventing them from eating the meat that they require in due season. So let's keep going here. It says, Of a truth I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. But, and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, he's delaying coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens and to eat and drink and to be drunken. All right, let's let's just look at that before we see the punishment. Because this is this is a believer, not just a believer, this is a leader. This is someone who is a pastor or a teacher or something of this sort. And uh, he says in his heart, not out loud necessarily, but in his heart that Christ is delaying his coming. And he shall begin to beat the men servants and the maidens, and to eat and drink and to be drunken. You've seen Christians like this. You can, if you keep your eyes out, sorry, you'll see Christians like this, Christian leaders who are like this, who get aggressive, who get assertive, who get abusive, and they're indulging themselves. So you, you don't have to go any further than, well, of course, a lot of the Pentecostal movement leaders, you can find that very easily, but not just them. Mainstream leaders, if you watch how they treat the people who are working under them, it's abusive. Many of them are very abusive with them. Some of them even take advantage of them and end up in sexual affairs, you know, even homosexual affairs within the church and pressuring them. So that's who we're talk talking about here. It says, The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in sunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. So this believer will lose his salvation. This believer will lose his salvation. It says very clearly that he will cut him to pieces and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. He will be treated as an unbeliever, one who does not have salvation. He has lost his salvation. So those of you who say that you're once saved, always saved, and no one can lose their salvation, you are liars. You do not know the scriptures. Because very clearly there are places just like this throughout the scriptures that make it clear that you can and that some will. Verse 47, And that servant which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. Now this one's not treated as an unbeliever, but he will be beaten and punished. And he's one who knows, you know, what God wants, you know, but doesn't prepare himself for it, and he doesn't do what he knows is necessary according to what God wants. So then he'll be beaten with many stripes, it says. So don't, don't imagine that every person who calls himself a Christian is just going to make it into heaven and everything's going to be rosy and God's going to overlook everything. This says clearly that he will not. He will not overlook everything. But that leaders, these are about leaders, that leaders who behave this way will be punished. They'll be beaten with many stripes. 
the ones who know what God desires, they do not prefer, prepare themselves for it and do not do it, that they will be beaten with many stripes. The next one, verse 48. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. All right, so the, the guy, the, the servant, the leader, who didn't know God's will and, and did things that were worthy of stripes, in other words, didn't do his will, he didn't know God's will and he didn't do God's will, he will be beaten still. He will not get off. He'll be beaten still, but with few stripes, it says. With few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed, and to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what if, what will I, if it be already kindled? And that's a very bad translation. So here's what it says in the Greek right there on verse 49. It says, um, I come to throw fire into the soil, the earth, the ground, and uh, which I determine if even now it's kindled. That's what it says in the Greek. I'm translating it right here while we're sitting here. Then Jesus refers to, he calls it his baptism, but uh, it looks like he's referring to his crucifixion, calling it his baptism. But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? All right, that's an exclamation right there. <clears throat> Um, and in what way uh, oh and in what way am I held together uh, and in what way am I held together uh, just a minute here I lost it a minute it skipped on me um, verse 50, ah, yeah, yeah. In what way am I held together uh, do, 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 until until it's accomplished? So, yeah, I mean, this this is pretty tough passage. Especially when he says that I it says, um, I come to throw fire into the earth. Then he goes into talking about, suppose ye not that I have come to, uh, to give peace on the earth, uh, I tell you, nay, but rather division. For from henceforth, from this time on, there shall be five and one household divided, three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So, and, and it goes on. This fire that he throws into the earth, that's the mystery. That's the thing that you look at and you say, wow. Because he just m mentioned the punishment of leaders, of Christian leaders. That's what the servants, the punishment of the servants is about. It's the punishment of Christian leaders. Accordingly, some are treated as unbelievers and lose their salvation, and they're cut into pieces. And then some are beaten with many stripes because they know God's will, but they do not prepare themselves and do it. And then there are those who don't know God's will and don't do it, but they still are punished because they should know God's will. But even so, they still disobey God's will. So we need to be very careful. We need to be very careful. We need to know God's will. We need to do God's will. We need to not beat the men servants and maid servants. We need to give them their portion of meat in the due season so that they can be strengthened in the Lord and meat, real meat, like what you get from the videos on this channel when we do Bible studies. May the Lord bless you as you seek Him.
with all your heart.